Trusting God and putting God first in every aspect of life makes all the difference when we face difficult times. Ed Nilsson and Rose worked with a small refrigerated truck delivering frozen goods to supermarkets in Manaus, Brazil. But after they were robbed three times, they lost nearly everything they owned, accumulating a significant amount of debt. Not knowing what to do, they got down on their knees. After putting their difficult situation in God's hands, they felt they should start a new business with the money they still had on hand. The problem was that all they had was $5. What can you do with this amount of money? As they were trying to put God first in all, they trusted that He could turn that small value into something great. The couple was then impressed to buy ingredients and to bake 16 loaves of whole grain bread. They quickly sold all the loaves to neighbors and friends and were moved by the recognition of God's mighty hand in their new business. After returning the tithe and promise offerings, they invested the net profit to buy more ingredients and make more bread. And so, in such a simple way, they started what today has become a company with 15 employees that produces 45,000 loaves of bread a month. Here is how they plan to honor God with their business. One, they help others start their business with whatever they have. Two, they promote a healthy lifestyle in town. Three, they are strongly committed to returning their tithes, along with a promise offering equivalent to 15% of all the company's profits. And God, by His mighty hand, is adding all that we need day by day, say Edda Nilsson and Rose. As we return our tithe and promise offering, may we put our desires last in God first.